Mission Control in Houston first observed it Thursday morning. The International Area Station was wandering. The station is constantly moving, of course, in a looping trajectory around Earth. However this, what Mission Control was seeing in the latest information, was unforeseen, and unnerving. On Thursday early morning, the spaceport station was all of a sudden and inexplicably deviating from its course. NASA rapidly turned to Roscosmos, Russia's area firm. To counter the shift, Moscow's objective control commanded one of its modules on the spaceport station to ignite its engines, then instructed a cargo ship to fire its thrusters too. Inside the station, astronauts reconfigured essential systems. Twice, ground control lost communications with the team for several minutes. It took about an hour to drag the ISS back into its correct configuration, and restore what its operators call mindset control. The source of the disruption was another Russian module, which had actually simply gotten to the station. The module, a laboratory called Naka, the Russian word for, science, had currently had a rough journey, stressed by propulsion and communications problems, with Russian engineers rushing to put it in the right orbit. When Naka went rogue, and Moscow instructed hardware on the other side of the station to respond, the ISS discovered itself in what a NASA mission control operator called, a pull of war. Seven astronauts were on board at the Timothy American, two Russian, one French, and one Japanese. NASA later told reporters that the astronauts had not felt any shaking or movement, and authorities tried to ensure the public that the crew was safe. Obviously, when you have a loss of mindset control, that's something you wish to address right away. But the crew was never ever in any immediate emergency situation or anything like that. The NACA module, at left, docked to the International Spaceport Station, Oleg Novitsky, Roscosmos, Montalbano. And even if they're dealt with rapidly, without genuine occurrence, they're undoubtedly disturbing. In my experience, people in space are always in threat, tweeted Wayne Hale, a previous flight director and supervisor at NASA's space shuttle program, which experienced two fatal mishaps that claimed the lives of a total of 14 individuals. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.